I haven't really done very many videos over here, but I'm going to do a video about my raised beds and what I'm growing, and uh, I know I'm a little late. We've already, you know, gathered some stuff out of the garden already, so um, let's just get to it. This is my cucumber squash and my onions. As you can tell, cat dog got into it, into the onions. Now we've already harvested, harvested several squash from here already and cucumbers. Um, here's a few that I harvested already and uh, it had rained so we had um, kind of, they kind of got out of hand, but I'll probably end up using these for some seeds. The two smaller ones I'll probably, um, will cook up, but like these bigger ones, I will probably just use those for seeds or something. But back over here, the uh, squash I thought was about done, but I see a few more blooms. I see a, a beetle. Crap, let me get Got him. For something so small, they could do such havoc on a garden and a plant. Okay, back to the garden. I took care of him. But anyways, yeah, we have uh, cucumbers. Yeah, that I need to harvest. But it's been raining, so I haven't. There's one. There's a tiny one. Huh. We still have a bunch of tiny ones. Oh, and there's another big one. My goodness. Oh, right there. And I see another one back there, if I can zoom in. All right, let me go, I'll have to walk over there and get him. But look, see, cat, get! And that's why we don't have onions this year, because of the cat. But I'll have to pull those up and we can still use those bulbs and some of the green tips for something. Get out! All right, well back to the garden. Let's see. Yep. There's the cucumber there. And the dead flower. Some more squash blossoms. But yeah. That is my cucumber squash and what's left of my onions. <laughs> and then we move over to the next bed is okra. And it's doing really good. I have a lot of okra on here. We've had a lot of problems with ants this year. And I use like Dr. Bronner's Castile soap. Made a spray, sprayed on them. But then the rain, we've had a lot of rain. So, there's another okra. There's another okra. I did, however, just pick, come out and pick some yesterday to eat. So there's not really much out here. And then we'll move to the next bed. And this bed is my corn and peppers. When I planted these peppers, um, beginning of this year they literally were struggling bad and I honestly didn't think this corn was going to grow because it was old seeds and as you could tell they have done or have grown pretty good so far but these peppers I mean a lot of them was really yellow studded growth they wasn't growing so I put some Epsom salt around them and then I sprayed made an Epsom salt and water mixture and sprayed it on the leaves 
and then I took some Epsom salt and, and you know sprinkled it around the base of the plant and they have really just shot up I mean like most of them was like this size and like really yellow but they have came out of it and I even have some peppers like look at that one that's a nice I need to come out here and pick some stuff and then we have more peppers here and here's some more so yeah I'm pleasantly surprised at how well this bed had uh, done considering how it looked a while ago or when I first planted everything this is my my owl that keeps watch for little critters hopefully scares them out so they won't eat them don't work on dogs and cats as you've seen in my onion bed <laughs> then we'll move on over to the tomato bed it had rained last few nights and a lot of my tomato plants had been knocked over and I haven't been able to get out here to um, get everything trimmed, the dying leaves trimmed up. But this year has been really bad for either too much rain, not enough rain, and bugs galore. I just put that out there the other day. How about that for my husband? Because he's a Navy veteran, so yeah. I thought that would be something nice that he can come and look at when he comes and grabs a tomato or two. But yeah, I'm going to have to come out here and get these tomatoes off the vines before they go bad on me. There, I'm going to have to fix those because those fell over. Again, I don't know if it's because of an animal or if it's just because of the weather. Definitely going to have to stake this one up. We got quite a bit of green tomatoes and then some red ones still. And the other stuff up. I also do container gardens, so let me go up there. These are some Brussels sprouts, and these are not doing very well at all. I use these covers to keep the bugs out, but they somehow still seem to get in. This one cover, this is just tool that I bought at Walmart and just added over top of it and used some of these clamps to clamp it. But that's Brussels sprouts, and that's not, they're not, they're like stunted. I have to give them, give them some compost tea once it starts to dry up and quit raining around here. This is dill, and my dill is doing good. I only had one come up out of like, well, there's a couple of them in here, but only one that's doing really good. And then I got a couple pepper plants over here. In the tree. I don't know how that got there. Some basil, oregano, and then over in this one I have cabbage and some radishes. And I have another cabbage over here, some collards there, but they're not doing the great. There's a spider. Going. Well, you can stay as long as you eat the ants. And then some lemon balm. And another basil. That's trying to go to seed. And there's two more cabbages. As you can tell, something's eating the crap out of them. I'm going to have to do something with that or they're going to just completely be gone. This was cabbage. Or not cabbage, but lettuce. And I'm letting it go to seed for next year. Look 
pretty. And my kale. Whew, look at that. Something's had a field day with those. And I know what it is. It's those little willy worms. They're terrible over here. They just are ridiculous. And then here we have broccoli. And again, I think they're just getting too much sun. I don't know. Hopefully they'll come out of it and start growing. But again, I just used the tool from Walmart and just used a clamp to clamp it down. It's hard to keep the bugs because, as you see here, I don't want that to happen to them. And then I have a bunch of strawberry plants, but I need to... We bought some... Um, some strawberry plants but back in the spring it was like it got hot then it got really cold so we I had lost a lot of my strawberry plants but we bought a, another raised bed and I'm going to make an arbor and put the um, raised beds on the on each side of the arbor and then I'm gonna plant my strawberries there and hopefully they will take off and continue to give me more but yeah this year that weather has been hard on our plants, especially the strawberries. And then I'm going to go over here. Got some green onions in this pot. We just kind of grow whatever, wherever we can, in whatever we can. And then I have a small peach tree here that will look like, it'll look like these. Even if I don't get any peaches, I'll uh, still think they're pretty. Just the colors are pretty of it. I'm not even sure what kind of peach tree this is. I do know it's like, it's like a small peach tree. And they just get really tiny little, about that size, peaches on it. But that's pretty. And then I have this peach tree here. I think this is a princess peach. I just planted this last year. And she's doing really good so far. She's taller than me. So yeah. But back over here, like even my sunflowers are not as tall as, you know, by now they're like already tall as me. And these are the mammoth. So. They're just really, really growing slow. Yeah, that's my garden. That's the tomatoes. Tomatoes. The corn and peppers and a, an okra that must have been a volunteer from last year. Yeah, and then okra and her squash and cucumbers and onions. And I see another <sighs> couple more cucumbers down here. I need to get out here and pick these because I might have to have those for dinner tonight. Yeah. Hope you all have a great day. Bye.